What is up guys, Edit City here, back with another app tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at some awesome transitions brought to you by Mystic on Instagram. I'll link him down below, he is the, uh, I got this from him. But uh, let's just hop right into it, and uh, so you want to get your clip in Video Star and re-effect it. Hopefully you have all these, these packs, I'm sorry if you don't, but uh, you know. So you're going to want to go to the effect called Mirror House, you can search that up in the bar over there if you want and uh, you want mirror house and then the other effect you're probably gonna need is uh, this zoom in or you can just zoom in the clip in when you import it you don't need to use this zoom in but um so it's just to eliminate the black bars that you see here so you just want to quick effects it on the zoom in so you get rid of the black bars and then you want to affect it with the mirror house and then we're gonna hop on over to uh, cute cut pro I hate that name so much once you guys are inside a cute cut pro hate that name you're going to have your mirror house clip and you're going to notice it's pretty zoomed out so you want to double tap on the layer and you are going to zoom it in whoops you want to make sure that it doesn't move from the center point and uh, i'm going to drag it to the beginning of the export button up in the top right and uh, a little bit too big so we're going to just oh, we're going to zoom it down come on stupid thumbs stupid thumbs we're going to try to get it like that so there you can't see the mirrored edges and it's uh, perfectly zoomed in. So then from there you want to click OK and then find the clips. I would do all of them that you want to put transitions on right away. Do not, um, you want to split them all right away because otherwise if you split them when the transitions added you are going to have a, they're going to split and do some weird things. So just split them all, save yourself the stress, then go to uh, the transitions button, add in custom transition, and uh, shorten it. Well, first you can move it over to the end and then you can shorten it up. And then click on the second triangle, and then basically all you got to do is drag the clip over, or any direction basically that you want it to, and uh, get the, for to the right and the left, you want the, uh, the midline to be in the middle of the clip like this and then basically go over to the easing mode which is really what uh, is really what makes this effect really sells it and then you click on in circular and then I'm gonna shorten this up a little bit it's okay and go to the second one tap on the beginning dot that's what I like to do hop right to it add a new transition custom transitions shorten it up heavily and uh, click on the first triangle this time and go in the opposite direction of the one that you went to last time. Try to keep it, try to keep that dot in the middle so as to not move it up or down unless you want that. That's all totally fine. And then go to the easing type again. And you can pick any of the outs look all right except for bounce and elastic. Depends. Back looks pretty cool. Circular is, you know, okay. I would never use linear. And then uh, the one that Mystic used in his tutorial was uh, smooth. So we're going to go with that one. And then um, I'll show you guys what this looks like when you've done it. Looks pretty good. Only thing it's missing is the blur. So there's a few different ways you can do that. You can do that inside Video Star, or you can do it inside of Luma. And I'm going to show you guys Luma since a lot of you asked for tutorials on Luma effects, and uh, it might be a waste of money if you don't know how to use it very well. So we're going to hop over there right now. As you guys can see, I already loaded us up in Luma. And uh, basically you just tap on this button and select what you want. Then you want to go over to the farthest right tab, color and effects, tap on the raindrop type looking thing, go down to motion 80, and uh, just leave it right there. And then click on the keyframe button right next to the name down by the timeline. And basically, well, first you want to go to the point of interest, which is the transition itself. And that would be... We're going to use this frame, the first one of the second clip, and then we're going to bump this all the way up to there. One, two, three, six, six. I'm going to do seven frames back just because of the length of my transition. It's all up to yours. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ish. And then let's play it and see how it looks. That kind of gives it the illusion of, you know, motion blur. And uh, it's on the screen recorder, it's kind of like glitching back and forth. But uh, I can guarantee that it's going to render out nice and clean. Inside of Video Star, I just wanted to show you guys Luma because I'm going to be doing more tutorials with this. And uh, so, anyway, 